Yeah, I just like... Oh. Duda, call 911. So our son Ruger loves reading and we're going on a bit of a road trip tomorrow. So I got a few snacks as well. But recently he's been into the idea of audiobooks, like Flippin' Loves Curious George audiobooks, but none of the ones that we found, they're too polished. And I, I don't know where we had the idea, why we hadn't had it before. Why don't we just record our own? So that's what we're gonna do. And the snacks I bought are gonna lead in for the TikTok video, where at some point in this video, I get in touch with being a kid again, and I have myself a peanut butter and salt and vinegar crisp sandwich, because that's what I loved as a kid. And I found these. Those are just for me. Now I think it goes without saying, I've never done this before. Now I'll be honest, I think I'm quite good at reading, but I hate the idea of being the center of attention and doing it in front of other people. But if it's for my son, we'll do it, we'll get it done. So I'm, if this is a load, I'm just gonna do it all in Final Cut Pro, just record audio from this straight into Final Cut Pro. I'm not gonna mess around too much with the audio. I think it's just a case of getting it read and then cutting out the bits where I make mistakes. <sighs> so Ruger's favorites are Curious George. So we've got three here, we've got four Clifford books. We've got tons more upstairs and I'm sure I'm gonna be grabbing those in a bit. But I think of doing this and I think why I'm talking to this bloody mic. Why haven't we done this sooner? Because we probably read, oh my gosh, I don't know how many books to him each day. So here we go. Curious George visits the zoo. Now I feel like I'm all uptight. <laughs> Pocket. I'm having to remember not to turn the book preemptively because the sounds are get picked up by this. Actually, this is the one Curious George book I haven't read in. You know, reading that, I felt pretty uptight and I had the thought of, adding in little bits like lunchtime, that's Ruga's favorite meal, or monkeys eating bananas, like the type of comments that I would make to him when I am reading the book. I wonder if I should make those to him now in this. Book one down. All right, I think let's get a bit more relaxed, shall we? I'm just gonna use the laptop to hold the book up. Not that book, because that book's already done. The next one, Curious George and the Puppies. He loves this one. And interestingly, this book hasn't really been opened because he's got a bigger one with like 10 stories in it. And so this one doesn't get read. Yellow hat. Look at the little kitten woogies. Ruga, what does the kitten say? <coughs> Together he and George did. My throat's getting a little clogged up because I've been eating these the whole time. So now that all these ideas are done, we just had lunch and I had the idea of Shay filming me on the monitor of me reading to, Ru reading to Ruga for lunch which then inspires me to get more books and do more. And something came in yesterday, which I've ordered for a Sporting KC soccer game for my MLS partnership, where I go, I wear these, like take my own wearable chair for a soccer game. So I'm gonna go and read to Ruga in about 10 minutes, put him to bed, and then I'm gonna try and put these on. I don't know how they're meant to go on. I've never used them before. So that'll be interesting. And then I'll, I don't need to tell you what I'm gonna do next because you'll see it. You want to read this one? Daddy, please. Are you on the mic? Hello, this is my dog Clifford. That's a dog. Look, so cute. He looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good girl, Judah. No more riggies. So I didn't actually plan on this happening, but a pretty cool thing just happened. So he. It didn't just happen. I came up with the idea of it for the TikTok video that he didn't want to read the books that I just made audiobooks of. He wanted a different book. So I pulled this one off the shelf and then I read it to him. And now I have to turn this into an audiobook. I feel like that's a really good, like slight twist to the story, but I won't make it seem like he's, uh, he no longer wants the books that I've already done for him, but he just wants this one in addition. Okay. So this is a wearable chair that I have no idea how to put on. These are the instructions, but I'm gonna try and do it without the instructions. <laughs> right, I'm gonna assume that that goes around the thigh. Slip my slender leg through here. Oh, that one, maybe that sits right under the buttocks. I'm not even looking at the picture, so I can't remember where all of this goes. Well, what is that meant to be? Um, I have no idea. We're gonna go with the instructions. Oh, this part goes around your foot. It's called the shoe 
retainer. Bro, what? Do, am I dumb? Ow! Oh, I've got a flipping wrong leg. What a strange contraption. That makes sense that you would do it that way. Under your foot? Yeah, that makes sense. And then, you tighten it up there, which then hooks on at the back. Come on. Oh. Hello, Pappy. Okay, feeling good. We're not feeling good. This feels very flimsy. Dude, it sits nicely on my buttocks. I bought these to wear as a video for wearing a wearable chair at a soccer game, but I'm not sure how I feel about that anymore. <laughs> See that? Oh. Okay. So what, oh wait. What's this belt, what's this for? Oh, so it's, this is to keep them up. Okay, okay, very hot. Very, very sexy. So we'll whip that around the waist, dude. Let's just, let's just pretend. There's a bit that needs to clip just here. Ow, God, just put it in, just put it in. Is it in yet? Should I put it in deeper? I don't know what this is meant to attach to. My darling, you fit through here. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull it out. Pulling it out didn't give me more room. Bloody hell. This is the second hardest thing I've had to play with today. Yes, oh, come on. Whoa. That was an effort. Now to put it back in. Does it fit? It's not too loose, is it? No, it slipped out. That happened last time as well. There we go. I like when it clips into place. All right, so you're walking around. Oh, madam. How are you doing today? Would you like to go and get a steak and shake? Kind of a hot date? I don't know why I'm making these jokes. I'm married. What a view out here. Let me, I'm just going to have a sit and have a look. Yeah, that's quite something that. Excuse me. I'm looking for the finance bros group. Have you seen them? No, not the New York ones, the guys that talk about finance on TikTok. Have you seen them? It's like this is how I'm going to be reading the rest of George. This one keeps falling off. Yeah, I just like... Oh. Duda, call 911 for me. Something's broken off, so you have to be very delicate when you're using this. Just like when you're using me. Talking about emotions, not physically. Curious George goes to a chocolate factory. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. I'm not gonna lie, this is surprisingly comfortable. I didn't even notice that I was sat on this thing throughout that book. Obviously I changed the angle a few times. <laughs> what a stupid seat. If you stay in the same place, it's not too bad. But if you plan on moving around, it's not ideal. All right, here's my problem. It's quite a long journey we're going on and there are at least, there are seven more just in this book alone. So I wonder if, so I wonder if I can use 11 labs. The option here to clone a voice. So I'm gonna try doing that. Only actually costs $5. So I just have to upload my own audio. So it's asked me to describe my voice. I put 33 year old British man living in America for 12 years with a twisted accent probably. <laughs> Using 11 labs is more effort than it's worth for this because you have to get all the text and I haven't found an easy way to do that yet with the so now I have to type all that out so there's just I may as well just read it at this point I actually want to test if it does it with my uh, voice at the moment copy paste generate speech all right let's listen this is George George was a good little monkey and always very curious one morning the man with the yellow hat woke George early time to get up George he said the pancake breakfast is today. George loves the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs at the children's hospital. Programs. All right, now I'll read it. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. If you increase the style. So there are a few sliders you can play with. I've gone, I've put the style up to midway. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is today. George loves the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs at the children's hospital. To make money for special programs at the children's hospital. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with it, to be fair. But I am definitely, sorry, Duda, done with this thing. Excuse me, dude. Do, 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 do. The minute you were, they were meant to fall. A little bit numb back here, but not as numb as it's been back here before. That one was a bit too obvious, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
much flavoured and poison. Hi, Jobies. What are you doing, misters? Come here, Jobs. A homemade protein bagel. Oh, they look quite good. Go for, a, go for one of the midget ones. They feel a bit doughy, don't they? Oh, dude, They're they look... They're supposed to be really fluffy. They look good. I just finished some of the audiobooks. Yeah. They're good. We'll give them a try when we get dinner later. Let's give them a try. I think Rugi's up shouting for Duda. And his friend. What do you think, Ruga? Stop for a treat. George loves treat. Give me a thumbs up. Inside the store, boxes of Yeah, <laughs> good for it. Which one? Come on, Jobacus. Oh, Joby, your feet. It's a bit of an impromptu trip, so we're driving tomorrow for a little bit. That's hence the, you already know that, don't you? Because I told you that's why we did the flipping audiobooks. But Covey, the eight month old, has not been enjoying car rides recently, and we think it's because of his car seat. So, new car seat time. Why is this so weird to push? Ah. Yeah, isn't that it? Yeah. What is it? Yeah, yeah, these are all just booster seats. I don't know what this one is though. Wait, that's not right for me. Carrying a baby seat through Target wasn't on my card for today. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Always like this with Kobe, hence the new car seat. So now we're picking up best food in the world. Oki Joe's. Oh my. Hi, Duda. Door. All right, that concludes the vlog for today. See you soon. Oh, uh, I found that, what was it? These Mormon women just were drinking ridiculous soda drinks from this place called Swig that's really popular in Utah. There's one in Wichita where we're going tomorrow, so I'm gonna try it. I think the focus is like dirty sodas. I don't really know what that means, like co coffee creamer? 